Hello, good day to all of you. My name is Blair and welcome to another OS operating system. Today we're gonna take a look into this first independent Chinese Linux distro called Open Kylin. So let's take a look into this as we open our operating system. So today I'm using the boxes. So I'm just gonna maximize this one. And of course, open our system. So as you can see, it has different types of Chinese characters right here. But as you can see, we're gonna take this F2. So F2, English. So that we could like understand this information. Of course, this is the first independent Chinese Linux distro. So we're gonna try without installing the open Kylin. So it is now opening. So I'm using the genome boxes right now. Just an easy virtual machine right now. As you can see, the dimension is not yet correct. So we could like correct this one by right clicking and then go to the display settings and then go to the 1080 which is right now I'm using and of course save it click apply this is virtual machine so it is telling me that this display is virtual one so I think there is no welcome page let's try to see if there is a welcome page I think there is no welcome page right here on our open Kylin so let's take a look into the website first before anything else let's go to the website which is we're gonna use the Firefox let's maximize this one go to open Kylin okay let's open that one open Kylin top slash index for the English because I'm using the English right now so you can open this as you want like if you want to have the uh, desktop or the Mac arm and also have the tablet arm so you can download this so this is the website they have this is their index so as you can see, building a global open source network highlights the OpenKyLean, the fourth international exchange program. So there are just only few right here. So OpenKyLean is a community open source community founded by basic software and hardware enterprise, non-profit organization, community organization, colleges, university scientists, research institute and individual developers on base on open source and voluntarism at the same time for their cooperation equality and of course building a open source community of desktop operating system through open source and open community coordination of course their user is a little bit like much right now because they are actually investing more in the Chinese in the mainland China so they reach already the 12 million users around the world and the members for the operations has 500 the contributors reaches uh, 6433 so it's basically okay so this is one of the best so let's go to the download so let's go to the ISO so you have the x86 for the desktop either in AMD or in Intel so you can download this one for the RISCV so you can also download this one for the Lutus, Vision 5, Litchi Pi, Hi5, and of course the SG. And for the ARM, they have the Raspberry Pi, Cool Pi, 
Python Pi, Chillin Pi, and of course the Python Pi. Hmm, all the Pi. And this is all their name members. So they started in 2022. And right now, it has a little bit like OK. They're still developing it. I'm using the, I think the 1.0. I didn't use the 2 right now because it's still on the test phase. So that's why I'm using the 1.0 version. You can go to the different types of mirrors right here from the different countries right here. So that is their website, openkylin.top. Okay, let's minimize that one. Let's go to the desktop user interface. So this is the desktop user interface, just like in Windows or in Mac or in Linux or e even in the easiest Linux distro called the Chrome OS. It's still the same. You have the start menu button right here or the show apps. We have the quick launch application right here and on the other side we have the notification area from the assistance to weather to global search to the internet volume control input the keyboards and of course your time and date at the same time plus your desktop wallpaper right here and some icons right here from your computer so I'm using the AMD Ryzen 7 and of course they have the trash right here open Kylin, which is the file explorer and the installer right here I haven't installed this yet so it's basically it's just uh, running into the uh, system without installing so let's change the wallpaper for the appearance let's go down right here in the set background so in the set background right here you can choose whatever you want you can select this one cartoonish thing cool how about this one nice how about the giraffe how about this cool fairy cool right so basically you can change the wallpaper as you wanted to So that is the Chinese version of the independent Linux distro called OpenKylin and this is their wallpaper. Cool. Okay, I want to use the fairy right now. Let's close this one. So right now let's go to the application as we finish the wallpaper and the appearance so the application pre-installed right here on open Kylin, we have the Firefox and of course your clock alarm assistance at the same time you also have the calculator burner for your CD burner biometrics manager if you have some scanners like the fingerprint scanners you also have the calculator, font viewer, the keyboard layout viewer, plus the managers right here for the application. It uses the Mate, music player, messenger, notes, pictures, printers, recorders, scanners, screen capture, services, support, software, store system monitor toolkits and of course your usb boot maker and usb formatter at the same time your office suite which is wps 2019 
plus your Vim and weather right here. So if you want to write some documents, go to the writer. If you want to use the spreadsheet, go to spreadsheet, presentation, and the PDF. Right here in Linux, we don't use any proprietary software. You can also download some, but at the same time, you have those free and open source all in one application not like the windows that you just need to download everything like for the word excel powerpoint and adobe photoshop adobe pdfs adobe acrobat but right here is just only one wps 2019 and this is the shortcuts the shortcut key let's just open this one so that you can see so just click yes I agree now let's not update that one first so this is the open Kylene so you can zoom in basically it's the same uh, let me see no here's the shortcut why should I go to how about the presentation let's open presentation now let's ignore this one first presentation yes it's still the same you can also minimize the slideshow right here let's open another another one how about the spreadsheet? All right, same. And the last one, we have the PDF. I don't want to update it yet. So you can click this one and then open then you could change this one as you save us file save us you can change it to the microsoft document or the pdf or the doc or maybe just open source you can select anything one application for all of this you don't need to download everything it's already like pre-installed for all this so let's go to the software center let's go right here in the software store so this is the software store they have all those stuff for Chinese of course you need to go to the system to change everything like to make it into English so I think the WPS for Linux need to update. Let's click that update first. So this is how you update the software right here in Linux. You just click and then you can move into your another application. You can see the feature right here. New feature. So it's basically 391 megabytes of installation download. So let's go to the home page. You can download the QQ, the chat for the Linux Chinese Messenger. So you can download your, your planner right here. How about all classification? You can type it in English if you wanted to. For example, if I'm a content creator, I need a video editor. Just click video and you have this video editor. How about Caden Live? We also have Caden Live right here. So you can download this one. 
if you are familiar with Kaden Live, so this is your best option for non-linear editing. For example, if I'm using the uh, Krita, yeah, they have Krita, so you can download Krita. So Audacity is also here, the audition version of, or the free version of audition by Adobe. So we don't have Adobe software right here, but we have audition. So you can download this one too. How about if I'm looking for the free tube? They don't have the free tube, but you can go to the website. So freetube app that I o so you can download this one too because we are using the other distro either we could use the flat pack or the app image or you can use the dev file so the drivers they are already here so if you are looking for your printer driver you have the HP right here how about the brother? Let me see if brother is here. Somewhere here. So conclusion. The installation is a little bit like easy. It's not too hard. It's a little bit easy. So it is above normal. The Windows like, not the Mac like. And at the same time, the learning curve is so easy. The installation is a little bit like tricky because it is not like the ordinary um, installation that you have in Linux. And at the same time, um, well, basically, I could like recommend this for the Chinese and for the international community. Uh, just be careful of your characters because some of the characters are not like easy to understand compared to the uh, operating system of other Linux and of course this is the Chinese version so of course there will be some snooping around for your credentials at the same time so be careful with that one this is just my um, my own opinion even though they have the privacy right here of course they still have the the Chinese version so of course it is not absolutely like like uh, like 100 percent so there will always be a Chinese invader to check on this application and what are you doing with their software so yeah that's basically my own opinion so anyway uh, that's it for now for the operating system the open kylin linux the first chinese independent linux distro bye for now and see you in the next episode and remember that science means knowing that is why science is cool if you have some question feel free to ask me write it in the comments down below this is your science computer and math teacher right here in kku Kankan university demonstration school for international division i'm blair Bye for now and see you in the next episode. Ciao!